You see this apartment right now. Look how small it is. Look how small it is. Well, it's kind of small. Oops, my bad. <laughs> I just wish I had a pantry. Because I had to fit everything in in one spot, see? Yup. That stuff wasn't that great because it has cinnamon and chocolate. Ugh. See that? That's not really that good. I can't stand it. It's not that good. Ugh. Yeah, it's not that good. No. Heck to the no! No. Yeah, I just have a very, you know, ink, winky dinky. This is the best bike. I mean, retail would be like eight hundred dollars. <laughs> yes. I got the performance bicycles. That's where I got it, bro. Can you believe that? Man? Can you believe it, man? <laughs> right on. You just won't be attacked. That's all what it is. Okay, I'll be right there. Hold on your spot, man. This is something you should know, man. If you ever consider something else, go figure yourself. You just take life too hard sometimes. I mean, there's only things you can budget at. Sometimes I'd rather go for the used stuff because you just know that it's just gonna be just fine. I mean, well, depends on the way, the condition, and you know. And if you go through consumer reports, you probably have better choices. Because they have better options on how it should be and how the quality it will be like and what's the best to the worst. That's what consumer reports are like. They'll tell you what's the best quality and what's the worst quality that you can get. And that's the best part. So you will know what's really going to be very helpful on the long run. Do you not understand what I'm trying to tell you, man? But that's okay. It's okay. I sometimes feel bad for my family right now. They've been going through a rough patch for a couple of years, a few years, or something like that. <sighs> They just been having a poor financial situation, which I do feel bad for, because they don't need to be in that rut. They're kind of stuck in the rut, but not in a marriage ways, more like in the financial ways. Financial problems that they're having. My mom, my sister Rachel, they're having financial problems. My sister Heidi is still cuckoo in the head because she's still dating the douche. Douchebag. She loves the douchebag. She loves him to death. Even though he always chews her out a lot. Chews her out. Chew her up. Even though she's still digging it. Awkward. And especially all the videos that I see on YouTube, that all um, 10 reasons why you should break up your boyfriend. They name everything 
They need everything. Oh, why they should break up the boyfriend? They need every one of them, and it all fits into how Lance is. He's very rude. He's very mean. He's very selfish. He's very cruel. He's ver he was has a bad attitude. He's always selfish. He's very lazy. He plays video games 24-7 and don't care. And he's just a lazy ass person. And Heidi likes that. Heidi loves lazy people. Heidi digs it. Awkward! He doesn't do nothing in his life. Nothing! Just sit around doing nothing. And Heidi loves that to death. What the hell, man? That's not a relationship. That's a poor conscience. That's not even a relationship. That's that's more like a, a lazy ass guy who does do nothing for his life. He does, does nothing. He doesn't do nothing in his life. And he highly loves that stuff. Weird. Bye.